Oh, morning everybody, it's Stacksmart here again and a little bit of a shake up today from the normal charts etc and just to uh, show you a few of the sil a bit of the silver that I've picked up over the last few weeks um, while it's been low um, so the first thing that I wanted to um, share with you were these um, shiny silver pandas uh, the 2011 1.5 million mintage and um, yeah, the I was really keen on these because um, when they came up on silver to go, the price on eBay was about thirty five quid. You couldn't get any of them at the time, uh, apart from in the secondary market, and these came up um, tw low twenties with no VAT from silver to go. So I was really excited, but I didn't want to buy any until one I'd hit payday and two the price had come down. Um, so I managed to get these. The last four I bought uh, were 22 quid, no postage from a guy. So I was really, really pleased with that. And I wanted to add some more of these into the stack because they just go crazy escalating over time. The people can't get gold, get hold of them. Uh, so I'm really pleased with them. So I bought seven of these uh, pandas. This one's got a slight milk spot on it, which is the first one I've seen on a panda. Maybe it's, I don't know whether it's on the coin or the capsule. It um, looks like it's got a little spot on its leg. But I love this design with the little puppy or cub um, poking its nose in. <laughs> love it. So there you go, seven of those. Um, also took the opportunity uh, to get my hands on this inaugural year of the horse from the from the Royal Mint in England. It came in this capsule that's too big for the coin actually, which is annoying. Um, but it's a really pretty coin. I've got the goat sheep thing already. Um, paid like 20 quid or something for this. I wanted to collect this set um, from the Royal Mint because... I don't like the Britannia, so I'd like to have something from, from Britain, from the UK in my stack, but I'm not keen on the Britannia, so really like these. They're really pretty, and I think they're well struck, and uh, yeah, I think the designs are very good. Okay, going on to these um, funnel web spiders. A bit disappointed with the Perth Mint that they're not capsuling these, and I think you, you see the... The problem of, it, of them coming in these bags is they just don't look as nice as they do in the capsules. So here's one encapsulated from the Royal Mint, and there's one just in a in a bag. It just I don't know. It breaks my heart really uh, to see how great they are in the capsules when they come like this, and then look at the um, you know these spiders in the bags it breaks my heart a little bit really but um, these were only £13 or something VAT free from silver to go so for an ounce of silver that's the cheapest I've ever been able to buy one um, so fantastic buying these are limited mintage uh, these spiders I've done a, another video when if you want to have a look at the spider video that I've done put together I'll probably put it in the description below bought two of those <coughs> And similar vein, uh, these hammerhead halves um, collect the shark series, and these are half ounce hammerheads. These are, I think, the three hundred thousand mintage. Uh, got the great white sharks coming from Atkinson's as well. I couldn't get them from silver to go, but these are only like seven pound or something. Um, ridiculous from silver to go, so they were a no brainer. So. I uh, picked up a couple of those. Okay, I took the opportunity while Silver to go had a couple of these in at 22 quid to buy a year of the snake for my collection. I've got a load of the yellow and green ones uh, that I bought, you know, very good money, 19 quid or something, um, a couple of years ago when they came out. But uh, I've not got one for my collection, so I filled in. And my 2013 gap with this year of the snake and I, I just don't think there's any better coin than these lunar year Perth Mint units. They're, they're just amazing. <clears throat> OK, 
UK and in a similar vein picked up the 2015 Kookaburra to add I'm adding each year on these because they're so cheap at the moment these are 13 or 14 pound from silver to go when they were down at 15 dollars and uh, again in the capsules they're just very beautiful <coughs> and same thing with the koala I uh, picked up one of them to fill in gaps in my collection again. So there you go. So that's the um, that's the the most recent pickups that I've that I've got. And um, as far as the charts go, uh, in my trolling video, I mentioned that we would probably revisit revisit near the funnel at sixteen point eight and then rally. Um, so we'll see how that pans out over the next few days. I still suspect upside breaks um in the near future but um we'll see what the news does over the next couple of days and uh, yeah thanks for everybody who subscribed to the channel and we're heading up towards 900 subs now which is fantastic if you're watching the videos and you haven't subscribed uh, then what you're waiting for you've got all the silver um stuff that you you want and all the charts you want so if you're watching the channel and you're not subscribed then please subscribe below and please thumbs up the video if you've enjoyed it one for the pneumatis and numismatics and one for the um for the chartist today so yeah i think um keep on stacking let's stack smart together and i'll catch up with you next time bye for now